Well, it's time for me to lay some opinions on your ass as well. The Pokemon Company has done something a bit silly, and in my opinion, something pretty damn shitty, as they have demanded $4,000 in damages from a fan who advertised a Pokemon-themed party. Lawyers for the Pokemon Company contacted a fan by the name of Ramar Larkin-Jones from Seattle after he planned his Pokemon-themed party on Facebook, and the advert featured the mascot Pikachu and the fairly popular Pokemon Snivy. Jones then quickly cancelled the event in response to legal threats, and you'd think that would have ended things, but no, the Pokemon Company continued to insist that he pay the fine. Now, naturally, he's just an ordinary guy like you or I, and he didn't have $4,000 just kicking around, so he turned to the Pokemon community for help, and thankfully, in about three days, he made the necessary money on GoFundMe. The fundraising page read as such, Quote, Hi, I'm Larkin Jones, and I'm being sued by Pokemon. I'm a video gamer, huge Pokemon fan, and all over a huge geek. The day before the PAX party, Pokemon sues me. Without even a cease and desist, totally didn't expect that. Pokemon wants $4,000 that I just don't have. I told them I'll pay it over a year, and they denied that. They want it now, within the next 45 days. I work in a cafe, and I literally don't have $4,000. And the part that kind of you know, makes me sad a little bit for this guy and anyone po who was a Pokemon fan in that area who perhaps have been going to this party for a few years or whatever, he finishes up by saying, quote, trust me, I will never throw another fandom party again. So, yeah. And the thing that makes it kind of weird is that he's been throwing this event since 2011 and hasn't accounted any legal resistance or anything like that. It's pretty clearly marked as an unofficial party. At no point does he try and say that this is an official gathering. The name of it was the fifth annual unofficial Pokemon PAX kickoff party and the, po uh, the, sorry, the poster with Pikachu and Snivy on it says that in pretty big letters. It's hard to miss. And he also went on to say, that's Jones by the way, that he stood to make a loss on this party as he did every year. Ticket prices are $2 to help cover cosplay prizes and the events DJ. So I'm sure some of you are asking before I get into all my opinion-y stuff is, well, what was actually their issue? Was it just that he was having an unlicensed party or what? Well, the lawsuit complains that, quote, defendants have incorporated infringing copies of Pikachu and Snivy into their poster for the fifth annual unofficial Pokemon PAX kickoff party and are publicly displaying that poster. Defendants boast that the fifth annual unofficial Pokemon PAX party will feature, among other things, Pokemon themed shots and drinks, Smash Brothers tournament with cash prize, dancing giveaways, cosplay contest, and more. An amazing Pokemon mashup. Now, the thing is, I get that this is an unlicensed party, and he technically was charging for admission, even though he said he made a loss because, well, the $2 was literally just to cover the prizes and the rest of it and probably came out from his wages. I get that, but what makes me kind of scratch my head is like, why didn't they just give him a cease and desist? Why don't they just say, hey look, we've noticed that you're doing this, can you not do that please? I'm sure he would have happily obliged, but they didn't do that, they went straight to suing, they went straight to demanding $4,000 from one of their long-standing fans. And when the guy said, look, I've cancelled it, that it didn't stop there. They still demanded it, and when he said, look, I can pay you every year, that wasn't good enough. They wanted it now, because clearly this guy works on a sodding cafe has got $4,000 kicking around. And to be honest, this is just a really shitty way to treat a, an undoubtedly long-standing fan. He's been running this event since 2011, and you don't do that because it's some game that you don't care about. He's been doing this off his own back, undoubtedly paying some of his own money towards it. And, you know, instead of just asking him, hey, can you not do this because technically it's infringing because X, Y, and Z, they went straight to smacking him with a lawsuit and demanded that he pay 4,000 bucks. It just comes across as kind of shitty, to be honest. And technically, yes, it's not his IP to use. It's not his IP to organise parties around. Maybe he shouldn't have charged for an admission. Perhaps not, but was going straight for a lawsuit the way to handle it? It's their reaction that troubles me. If they'd just gone straight for a cease and desist, I would have been like, uh, all right, I still think you're overreacting a little bit, but at least, you know, you're just saying, hey, can you stop, rather than pay us money now. That's what troubles me about this. That's what makes it come across as just really treating a long-standing fan like crap, to be honest. And if I were him, I would probably not support their games ever again. And while one guy not buying their games is hardly going to make them cry as here, 
It's not exactly good to show that this is how you show appreciation to your fans who love your game so much that they hold this event for like three years, four years, whatever it was. You know, if this guy was making serious bank from this, I could kind of see where they were coming from, but $2 a ticket for some small event that probably had like, you know, maybe 50 people or something turn up to it. Yeah, okay, I'm sure he's making super bank on that, slash sarcasm font. So yeah, in short, Pokemon Company, I am disappointed in you. I love your games, but this is really bad behaviour and a really nasty way to treat a long-standing fan. All you've succe succeeded in doing is making yourself look like the bad guy, probably pissing this guy off and making him not want to buy your games ever again, and now people who enjoyed this PAX party can now never go to it again because understandably he doesn't want to do it anymore. Congratulations.